All right, today we are gonna establish two printable windows. We have our clean and degree screen, and we have taped down two templates, six by six windows underneath the screen that I can see clearly. You'll also need at this time a lift for your frame, some screen filler, a spoon, scotch tape, and a fistful of mat board pieces. We're gonna create a screen filler stencil with two six by six work of printable windows. So we're gonna take our scotch tape, we're gonna create a little handle, a little handle at the top, only because it's, you're gonna have to peel it off the screen later. So the little handle is nice to grab. You can start with either the top and the bottom or the left and right sides. Uh, you can't do them all at the same time. So we are, I'm gonna show you right now, we're gonna do the left and right sides of both of these shapes and we're gonna firmly press it. We are putting the tape on the inside edges of our shapes. What the tape is gonna allow us to do is put a little bit of screen filler there where it doesn't go through our screen and we'll be able to pull with mat board pieces very thin strips of screen filler as we create our stencil. We're gonna take the lift now and put it under the frame. And now we're gonna take our screen filler and because it has a tendency of separating over time. We're just gonna make sure we stir it up really, really good. And we're gonna put out a little bit on the tapes, on the outside edges of the tape, just a little bit. You don't have to put a lot. It gets kind of tricky to have this balancing act. Now, once it's on there, it's not going through the other side. So we're gonna take the mat board pieces at a good high angle and press down firmly and pull. And as you can see, the screen filler is really thin. The benefits of having a thin stencil of screen filler is it's easier to clean. It breaks down for cleaning a lot faster and it prints a lot easier. When you have a thick stencil, sometimes like a moon surface, it has this uneven nature to it. So I like to keep the screen filler really thin. All right, we're gonna use a hair dryer to dry out our screen filler and cool to a medium setting because we don't wanna burn holes in our screen. While you're drying it out, you're gonna dry it out from both sides. If it ever feels to the touch cold and clammy, it's still trying to dry. Now that the screen filler is dry, it also acts like tape. I can put some more screen filler down and it will not go to the other side of the screen. Because if you were to lay a screen filler out in an open part of the screen, gravity has a tendency of pulling it through and you get these thick spots. So anytime I put screen filler out, I'm gonna put it on either tape or more of the dry screen filler side. Now I'm working around the screen and I'm not trying to get close to the, to the lines that I need for the top and the bottom yet, but I do know that I'm gonna have to get there soon. So we are just working our way around and every now and then just dry it out. And we can put more screen filler out on these dry areas of screen filler. You don't have to go all the way to the outside of the frame. I find that a lot of cleanup. But what I've done is I like to keep the work towards the uh, sweet spot of the screen, which is towards the center of the screen. Anytime you set up your images for printing, avoid the outside towards the frame. You wanna stay about four inches away from that frame because that part of the frame is stretched so tight that it's hard to deliver a nice layer of ink and snap up high. So we've dried this out. So we can lower our screen now that's dry and with the handles, we can peel up our edges to reveal our right and left beautifully. And we can still see the template where we can do the top and bottom. That's gonna be next. So we've lowered the screen and now that it's dry, we're gonna, with a handle, we're gonna do the top and the bottom. We'll be able to mass it out. Press it down firm so that you have a nice sharp shape. And we're gonna do the top now. Okay. 
anytime you pull the, the screen filler, just make sure your screen is elevated, Other otherwise you just have a squishy mess underneath that you'll have to patch up again. All right, now that we have our tape in line, we are gonna raise it up again and we are gonna finish off the shapes. So we're lifting it up. Now that this stuff is really dry, you can move very quickly around your screen. trying to bring it out further or away from your images because we're going to eventually now we're going to square this up the the shapes looking a little round in some areas and i really want to kind of square it up so that the next step after this is to use a little bit of packing tape on the outside edges and i don't i i don't want to use a lot of tape so the square you get this the least amount of tape you need for the outside edges also remember when you're using packing tape on the outside edges don't bring it in so close to your image. Um, it's not a good printing surface to work with. So now that it's dry, we can peel up our tape and it reveals two six by six windows that we can print through. There's our six by six windows and now and our, we have our template still underneath just to show you what we were working from. And now we're gonna put packing tape on the outside edges. And so when you're putting the packing tape down, just take it directly to the, to the screen and then roll out to the frame. And then that way it stays really, without a lot of folds, a lot of, it just goes down really flat. We're gonna do that all the way around. Again, uh, try to keep the, this packing tape away from our printing area because if you ever have it too close to the image, it's really difficult to print on top of. Just fight you every step of the way. So now we're gonna make sure to pat that down and get all the little air bubbles out of it. And we have our screen ready to work with.